said we're going to talk Grealish and Graham Souness, and we are now, because earlier this week, the Liverpool legend that is Graham Souness joined Jim White and Simon Jordan. He said he doesn't think that Man City and England winger Jack Grealish is all that. Grealish hit back at Souness yesterday while on England duties, suggesting he had an issue with him. And so Souness returned to Jim White and Simon Jordan again today to respond to Jack. Let's hear from them now. Jack Grealish is a good footballer. For me, he's, he's not a great player. He's, he's, he's a good player who... Um, has got a big move and has yet to do it at Man City for me. I don't know what his problem is for me. He, he always says stuff about me. I try to read like not a lot of it. Obviously, it's difficult, you know, when he's on talk sport and it's everywhere around the training ground. I don't know what it is with what he says about me or what problem he's got. I know my own ability. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and say nothing ever don't affect me because it does sometimes, you know. I don't have a problem with Jack at all. I think Jack, as I said, is a good player. Technically, he's fantastic. He's the most expensive transfer between two English clubs. I was that when I went from Middlesbrough to Liverpool. That was never an issue for me. No one ever spoke about it that I can remember. And if they had done, it would mean I wasn't doing the business. I wasn't living up to expectations. I'm sure if I met Jack, I'd really like Jack. I think he's a, a cheeky chappy. I'd like to have a night out with him as well. But I just think the modern player just doesn't take criticism very well. Mm, that's interesting. I, 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 there's so many things I want to say. I'll start off by saying I don't think you can compare football back from Graham Souness's time to now. It's completely different. When he said he was the biggest transfer fee from Borough to Liverpool, that was probably a packet of hobnobs. Yeah, but, but, at, but at that time, the packet of hobnobs were probably... It was about pound fifty. <laughs> but you can't compare the money that Borough would have got from Liverpool for Souness to £100 million pounds from Jack, uh, for Jack Grealish's fee. Mm. Also, on top of that, the, the, the transfer has nothing to do whatsoever with Jack Grealish, mm. right? Whenever we look at a footballer, we should just question their ability on the pitch and whether or not they're doing it. Not for the fee, just whether or not the footballer's doing it. It's, because otherwise it becomes a little bit silly. If they would have got, for argument's sake, right, for, for, if you're going to use that analogy where you're going to put the player's um, ability down to the amount of money they cost, you'll never, ever have that conversation about Haaland because he was £54 million, pounds, yeah. right? So it's a little bit silly. Because Harlan came when he had a buyout clause, it was incredibly cheap, he's worth maybe 200 million plus. But it's not Jack Grealish's fault that Villa slapped mm. a silly price, it was silly, silly price tag on, 100 million pounds, thinking, well, probably no one's going to go. City saw Jack Grealish, and we need him in our squad, he will make our squad better, which he does, he makes the first team better, which he does, he's mm. got an abundance so of talent. He certainly makes the squad a lot better. Thicker, a yeah, lot, like the depth, yeah. And he's got it, he gives options, mm. he's got a ridiculous amount of talent. He's fantastic with the ball at his feet. You could argue that the way Man City play, maybe we don't see enough of his talents in that style of play. But either way, there's no doubt. And in my opinion, Jack, I think soon as got that wrong, I think Jack Grealish is a wonderful player. Do you know what? I mean, he, he said something at the start, Graham. I, I kind of agree with him because he said that he's a very good player, he's not a great player. That I agree with because you can't say great, he's not all, all of a but sudden. No one said Grealish is a great, but if no, you're talking great, you're no, talking great. Graham, what, what Graham said, right. right? Um, and what you said there, I kind of agree with you because when we, when Grealish was at Aston Villa. What made him such a, a good player was the fact that he'd get on the ball pretty much anywhere he, he felt like popping up. He could get the ball to the back four, he could get the ball in the midfield. If he really wanted to, he could gangle it from the goalkeeper. But he was so integral to the way they played, he could pick the ball up, he could go past people, he'd create, he'd get fouled, he'd draw in fouls, he was scoring goals, he was assisting. He's been able to do so much while he was at Aston Villa. He went to a side where players in the squad are equally, if not better, than he is. So he's not being asked to do as much. So at times, maybe... F- certainly in the early parts of his Manchester City career, he probably looked a bit lost because he probably thought, well, what, what do I do here? Like, they've bought me for this amount of money, so I want to get on the board, I want to show people. But he's not been able to do that. So it's going to take him time to adapt to the way Pep wants to play. But I, I think he's done okay. I think if you'd asked him quietly, he'd probably say he wish he could have given a little bit more, maybe scored a, more, a few more goals, more assists. Because when you're a creative player, I know he said about Pep said he doesn't really want, he doesn't really care too much about the goals and the assists. But when you're a, cre- a creative player or an attacking player, you look at them stats. And if you see that, that them columns that say zero goal, zero um, assists, assist, even if the manager goes, yeah, that's fine, you and yourself would go, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a, a funny argument, but I think Jack's doing okay. But I'm, I'm sure if you ask Jack himself, he'd probably think, oh, I'd like a few more goals and assists. And you've got course, one against Wolves. Of course. But that's where he's going to get most of his yeah, goals, yeah. in and around that six-yard box. Does, does he make every single side in the Premier League stronger? Um, I say yes. As in squad. Yeah, he'd make every, every yeah. single squad better, yeah. I don't know. That's a pretty good player to do that. There aren't many you can put in that bracket. Squad, I think squad is, is better because you put him into Liverpool team, I don't think he makes their front three better. Yeah, but... Okay. Salah, Diaz, 
Because look at Diaz, for instance. Diaz is the same type of player, kind of, yeah. as Grealish. But he adds goals and assists. He gets that people goes past. But then that's Jurgen Klopp asking Diaz to do a completely different role yeah. to what Pep's asking Jack yeah. to do. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.